Almost every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a feature focus video. In this video, we're going to discuss setting up an external screen. Using an external screen on your console or PC suite can be a handy way to expand your ability to access items in your show file. You can use a touch screen also if you wish, but it's not required to be a touch screen. Consoles on the PC suite may have one external or additional screen. The Sapphire Touch, however, can have two. Hooking up your screen, if this console has a DVI connector, this is digital only. An older VGA monitor will not work unless you use an active converter box. If it has VGA, uh, you may use that or convert to the signal of your choice. If it has touch, simply plug in the USB to the console's USB port. If you're using the PC suite, refer to your computer's manufacturer for guidance for connecting an external touch screen. After attaching the screen, you'll need to enable it in the system settings. I'll press AVO and DISC for any of the consoles or system on the Titan Go slash Titan 1 interface. Then use the soft keys, uh, previous or next, and find display setup. Set the external display to connected, and then exit from the system menu. And let's see that in action. See here, I've got the Titan Mobile setup with an external display. If I click AVO and DISC to enter the system menu, and then press next until I find display setup, then click that. And then set my external, click on where it says external display disconnected, set it to connected, then click exit. We see that my external display now has the ability to have items on it. It is best to set the external display disconnected if you are not using it, as workspace windows will try to open on them and you won't be able to see them. This is particularly an issue on consoles. Uh, again, AVO and disk, or system on the Titan Go slash Titan 1 interface and then find uh, use previous or next display setup and set the external display back disconnected and then exit from the system menu. This has been how to set up an external display on your Avalites console. Uh, please subscribe and join us for the next video. Thanks. Bye. Real stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.